welcome back to the channel everyone the izami forge is now there and available for us to unlock and in this video i'm going to show you step by step instructions on how to do that now it starts off the same way the good phantom forge did but instead of killing fallen you need to kill vex in order to start this all off now as you're killing the Vex, hopefully the RNG is good for you and it will drop you a Vex Transponder. Now once you get this item, the long quest you have in front of you now begins. And the first step is to kill 100 Vex. Now I did this on Nessus and I ran into the Orari, or however you say that, Lost Sector. Now it doesn't matter where you do this, it can be anywhere in the solar system as long as you're killing Vex. I just chose to do it in a lost sector so I didn't have to worry about anybody else killing them before I could get to them. Now once your 100 kills are complete, you can move on to your next step which is a heroic public event, the Spire Integration. Now this public event does have to be done in the hollows, and this is the only type of public event that actually spawns on the hollows. So once you go there, if one of them comes in, you'll be good to go. It's going to be the right one. Now it is a little hard to do by yourself, but there's probably a lot of people doing this right now in order to unlock the forge, so you should be good to go. Now it does have to be heroic, and if you don't know how to turn it for heroic, the circle platform that I'm standing on now, there is going to be three of them in this area that you need to stand on until they are fully activated. And once all three are activated, it is going to start the heroic public event. Now for the next step, after you get that public event done, is going to be killing 20 Vex Minotaurs. Now the fastest way to get these is probably going to be another public event that you just did. It took me two more public events in order to get all 20. That was the fastest way that I found in order to get this done. Now if you're doing the public event and you don't see any Minotaurs, don't worry. Once it turns heroic, they will literally start spawning everywhere. Now to make it easier for you guys, here is a map of Nessus with all of the public events and the locations that they spawn in. Now for the Minotaurs, you're going to need the Spire Integration, and then later on there is going to be another quest where you need to do a Glimmer Extraction, so this map will help there too. Now the next step is going to be an actual mission where you get your first look into the actual forge itself. Now this is a 630 light mission, so those of you who are on a lower light level, you might need to group up and go in this together, because if you do it by yourself, it does just pull you in solo. But you pretty much just go in, there's three little spires there that you have to activate, and once you activate them, it spawns the Saboteur Minotaur that you need to kill, and after that, the mission's completed. Now you're not done yet, you go back to 801, and she gives you a broken igniter that you need to repair, and a bunch more quest steps to do on top of that. Now in order to repair the igniter, you need to do three public events, all heroic versions. One has to be a glimmer extraction, one witch's ritual, and another spire integration. Now for the Witch's Ritual, it can be done on Titan, and right on the rig, right below where I just spawned in at, is a public event that you need. Now remember, these do have to be heroic public events, and in this one here, there are two platforms you stand on to drop these shields on the wizards, and as you do, you need to remain staying on those platforms, and it'll drop shields on these two crystals above, and once you kill those crystals, it will turn into a heroic public event. Now Titan isn't the only place to get the Witch's Ritual done, it also spawns in on the Glacial Drift, and it'll spawn right here on the top part. Next you're going to need another Spire Integration, and of course those are all on Nessus. Now, it's the same thing you did on the first couple steps of this quest. Now we'll take another look at that map to show you where all those Spire Integrations spawn, and also the Glimmer Extraction that you need for your third public event. There is a couple spots on Nessus where that spawns in too, so you might be able to do those here too. Now the Glimmer Extraction spawns in on the EDZ in the Sludge too, also on Firebase Hates, on the lower part of Firebase Hates. 
Now during this public event, there are going to be three dropships. Each dropship is going to have one of these things you need to destroy in order to turn it heroic. Once all three of them are destroyed, you'll get the heroic version. Now once it's heroic, it'll spawn this little circle with glimmer in it, and you simply just need to stand inside it until it reaches 100%, and then you're done. But you're not done with the quest yet, it is still a very long quest, and there are still stuff to do. You're going to need blended ether from fallen multi-precision kills, condensed blights from lost sectors on IO, and the radiolarian vapor is another mission. Now for the condensed blight material, you're going to spawn in on the rupture on IO and directly to the right of it, you're going to run into the sanctum of bones, and there is one blight in here, and literally as soon as you kill that blight, you can get free of the adds, and then fast travel back to the rupture, run in and kill it again, you're going to need to do this five times in order to fill that condensed blight. Now for the fallen precision multi kills, I just spawned in on the EDZ and then ran in one of the first lost sectors I've seen, just so I didn't have to worry about anybody else killing anything as I was getting these precision kills. And the last part of this quest step is going to be a mission that can be found on Nessus. Now I'm not going to show you this mission, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but good luck getting it done. Now after finishing that mission, you're going to go talk to Ada and she's going to give you another step where you have to complete the Vlunder Forge in order to charge it. And then after the Vlunder Forge, you go back to Ada and she's going to give you yet another step to complete the advanced version of the Inverted Spire Strike. Now this is a 630 power strike, so you might need to grab some friends in order to get this done. Then finally guys, after completing that strike, you finally have unlocked the Azanami Forge. As always guys, I hope this video helped it out. If it did, go ahead and give it a like. Newcomers to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more D2 content like that. And if you have any questions on any of these steps, go ahead and drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.